Well friends, it is September 18th and tonight we have a frost warning. So this, this is it for the garden. Kind of, basically. Actually, almost an entire month early for us to be getting frost we normally hang in there until October 10th to 15th or so but this year there are other plans and all weekend long we're gonna have frost warnings so we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pick all the all the uh, tender plants all the herbs I need to pick all the basil all the tomatoes all the peppers any eggplant we have left pretty much everything minus the fall garden so I have like radishes and greens and Brussels sprouts and broccoli and cauliflower. That's all gonna stay in, but everything else is coming out. So this is gonna be a huge harvest and we'll give you a tour as we go through and we say goodbye to the 2020 garden. So first we'll take a look at this hygge culture bed. It's full. I mean, this is one tomato plant in here that has just gone completely wild. It's a cherry tomato. And then we have flowers, lots of beautiful straw flower in here. We've got a couple cabbages, some celery back there. We've got a winter squash. This is a butternut, as you can see. There's a little lovely little butternut under there. Lots of basil that I need to harvest already getting touched by some cold nights so we're gonna get all of that harvested some more cherries that have gone wild and some lovely flowers so this bed is not gonna be living for very much longer so Chris is gonna start off he's gonna harvest all the tomatoes let's go back there and take a look and see how they're looking this year these plants have kind of let go wild so honey drops in here. You can see they have disease, but it it didn't get bad. It didn't get to the point where it really affected growth or production. It's very weird actively choosing to take off all of these unripe tomatoes. Yeah, it feels strange. I know, I'm not used to going in and looking for green. So we've got some cherries that have just had fun growing all sorts of places. Cherries are filling out this trellis. Okay, so you can see all the tomatoes in here. As I mentioned, there's disease starting to kill off the plants, but they're still, still very productive. And these plants in here are super, super healthy. These are the Italian paste. We've still got some beautiful fruit on here that we're gonna pick. See all the red and then lots of green fruit. We'll pick all these guys and try to see if they'll ripen on the counter. And then we've got our peppers in here. So many peppers to harvest. Just tons and tons of peppers that need to come off these plants. I've also gotta go in and harvest all of these, oh it's so bright, harvest all of these beans. So I'll harvest the green beans and freeze a big batch. Maybe for Thanksgiving this year we'll have homegrown green beans and then I will harvest the dry ones and shell them for dry beans. Like these guys right here will we'll get harvested for dry beans. Got some lovely butternut squash. I'm gonna harvest those guys. All the winter squash can get harvested. So we'll do that. Squash bugs. And we gotta harvest all of these sweet peppers and all these spicy peppers. I'm gonna make a big batch of pepper jelly. I think I'm gonna use the corbachi and the cayenne for pepper jelly. We've got our pumpkins. These guys are gonna come off. 
they're all gonna get harvested. And then I've got some beans in here as well. As more pumpkins. More cherry tomatoes. These are actually all volunteers. Surprised they produce so well. Got a couple last final eggplants in here. I'm gonna harvest these guys. And then I need to check this cucumber trellis to see if we have any cucumbers left to harvest. I'll leave the kale, that will be fine. And I think I'm gonna cover these peppers because they haven't had enough time to ripen and I really want these Tabascos to have time to ripen. These are all my fall crops. All this stuff. So this, <laughs> this massive kohlrabi. <sighs> these guys can all stay in. I just need to pull these t volunteer tomatoes because they're crazy. But these guys can all stay in the ground because they're fall, they're frost hardy. I also need to harvest all of the corn. Most of the corn left in these plants is popping corn or glass gem corn, and it's gorgeous. It's really fun to harvest, so I'll harvest that in just a minute. Looks like I got a bunch of broccoli shoots to harvest as well. But yeah, all, all this corn is coming off. So much to do, guys. So much to do. I also need to come in here and harvest all of these peppers. There's a lot of spicy peppers like jalapenos and serranos. And then there's some bells and some bananas. So we need to come in here and harvest all those guys. So let's take one last look at the garden from this bed all the way down before, before it's all gone and out. And as the light started So last night got a little crazy and we we quickly realized that we didn't have very much time we didn't have a ton of light and we needed to get all the peppers and the tomatoes out just in case of a frost it doesn't look like we got I think we did get a light frost that affected a lot of the lower plants I'll show you guys when we go out there in a second so we harvested all the tender crops and now we're gonna go out we're gonna harvest the corn we are going to harvest some beans if we get to that I'll, I'll bring you guys out with us and we'll finish harvesting. But we, we got all the tomatoes, we got all the peppers, we got a couple small watermelon, eggplant, cucumbers, okra. It was busy, busy, busy. So let's go back out there and get some more done. <laughs> You're making it very hard hold on to. Hey, Smoochie, you gotta get out. This is for corn and beans. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? You go? Okay, so this is the damage of the frost right here. See these? Yeah. It's a frost damage. So the squash. Yeah, and you can actually see the basil. The basil got hit, which is good because I picked it all. We are gonna harvest all of this lovely oh. corn.